Hey planner babes, it's Mandy from Create with Mandy and today I'm planning in my bandeau planner. I'm excited. I haven't planned in it in a couple weeks now um, on camera. I've been using it and I'll go ahead and show you those spreads but I just want to say thanks for stopping by and I hope if you're not subscribed you do hit that subscribe button so that way you can see my future videos as well. So here's this week. I've got my stickers picked out. Let's take a quick look at the last couple weeks. So here is that first week, which I posted pictures of, but never um, planned on a plane with me for this one. But I really like how that turned out. It's very cute. Um, love those colors. And then last week, or this current week, is this one. I like that as well. I used some Happy Planner stickers. It turned out so cute. I love these little clusters, so I really like how that one came out. Now, for this week, I was super inspired by a spread from Cassie, and I don't, I like, can't quite remember her Instagram handle, but I think it's Sassy Cassie Plans or Sassy Cassie, either way. Super cute. She used these watercolor Valentine um, stickers from my shop. She layered it with some washi. She used a couple other sheets from my shop, too, like the aesthetic collage circles, but Oh my gosh, it turned out so cute and I just love how she did it and I'm going to basically kind of make an inspired spread from that. So she basically did like four clusters and I just, I just loved it. I had, I have to do something similar. So I'm going to go ahead and use these for sure. And then I have some other sheets here that I'm thinking I might use. So she paired some clear florals with it. And so I grabbed the clear florals from my shop. And then I also grabbed these two Valentine sheets in case I want to add some of this stuff. And then the trendy collage circles because she used circles and I, I always love using circles in my clusters as well. So we'll see how that goes. I think it'll, I think it'll come out cute. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I think one of the first elements of a cluster is washi. So I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm just going to, just do whatever. I don't know. I'm not really going to plan this out like too, too much. Let's see if I can get something to cut that. Okay. Um, I'm going to do one in this corner, which is kind of the same place as I did the clusters last week, but whatever. And um, let's see. Let's look at last week. I did one here, here, and then I think Friday is a good space to do it as well. That way it stays really balanced and also I haven't talked about this in a while but it kind of creates that visual triangle that I've talked about so that's kind of like a design element thing um, kind of creating a visual triangle on the page and it kind of is an equal spread when your eye looks at the the page or the design so we started with the first washi and then I want to add this one too this is from Crate Paper, a scrapbooking brand, and I don't think I'll be able to find it, but it's really cute, these photo florals. I'm just gonna tear off some pieces and just kind of randomly layer it. I'm not really thinking about where the el other elements are going just yet, I'm just putting it down. And the good thing about washi is that you can always take it back up because it's not too sticky. So, and then this one already tore in half, but I think I'm gonna continue the tear and just use half because this is kind of a thicker washi. So let's use this one here. Honestly, I really like it already. This combination of the black grid and then the soft, pretty florals. I think that's a really good, um, design combination if we're talking about design elements you've got like kind of like a harsh um like color this dark black with straight lines very um symmetrical and then you have like a photo real life element that's soft and delicate and sometimes those are kind of the two best things that match together something like conflicting that doesn't really make sense but it looks nice together hope that makes sense okay now i'm gonna use these because these are great for like underneath elements because it's kind of like a little background layering piece. So I think that that will be really cute to add on top. There's one that says, Dear Valentine. I kind of want to put that one on Valentine's Day because why not? 
that would make sense. So let's go ahead and use that one there. And another thing about these um, watercolor sheets is that they're also good to layer on top of things because it's on the clear paper so you can see through it really nicely. So that's something else to consider. And I might do that with some of those smaller, smaller ones. Okay, cute, cute, okay. And then I think I wanna add some florals and I think I just wanna use a couple of these that kind of go with the palette here, the color palette. So I feel like these will go nicely. Maybe the red one too, but I think we're good. Um, that's kind of one for each cluster, so that might work nicely. Kind of like how that looks, and then maybe like a flower on top. One of these. Ooh, that's really pretty. Oh my goodness. So I feel like this is this is very, very inspired from Cassie. So. You're watching this Cassie thank you for the inspiration I absolutely love it I shared it on my story um, so definitely go check that out maybe I'll share it again when I post this spread let's see let's grab maybe this one and a leaf so the fun thing about these florals is that this is one of my original designs that I've had, you know, back when I started my business over a year ago. And um, I'm just now making it available in a clear sheet. So that's really fun. And um, so it's kind of like a revival, revival of this uh, sheet because now you can get it in clear. Okay, let's grab this one. Maybe just do something like that. I don't know. Just kind of doing how whatever I think. I don't know. There's no real method now. I'm just kind of layering some stuff. So that's really cute. I'm not a fan of this orange here, but in this gradient circle, but I can cover that up with maybe one of these things. I love these doodles, Valentine's doodle sheet. Um, maybe a little mail. It's cute. So maybe we'll sprinkle some of these in the cluster and really make it just fun and very Valentine's Day e. Love it. Super cute. Um maybe a little rose. I don't like that with the other flowers there. I think the cherries are super cute. I'm gonna put those somewhere. I like those there. And then what should go in this one? Maybe just some of these hearts. Hmm. The single heart, the bottle of wine. Let's just do the little single heart for now. And there we go. So talking about how you can layer these on top of things. Now, if I were to add some boxes to this spread, you know, boxes to write stuff in or whatever, I think that would be a good space to layer one of these like on top of the box to write something in. But I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do that because I really like how this is and just, it's pretty simple. I like it um, and I'm I tend to like, just use too many stickers sometimes, which you guys know. Um, so I think I might leave it right there. The other thing I could add is a quote because I didn't use any of these. Um, but honestly, I like to do these in clusters and not just have it by itself. So I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is, but I like how it turned out. Super cute. Um, I'm really excited to use this one. Plenty of space to write, but it's still really cute, you know? So that is um, how this spread is turning out is going to turn out so thanks so much for watching i hope if you like this one you'll give me the thumbs up hit that subscribe button so you can see my future videos as well and i will see you guys next time bye guys